For this video, we're going to take a look at the eight kicking methods from the Bag Wajang system. So the eight kicking methods are actually four types of kick, but because we do them off the left and the right, they double up to make the eight. So to practice these kicks, we have a little sequence that we learn at the end of the Phoenix form. It's here that we practice the four directions of the kicks. If you notice that all the other three kicks happen from a very static position, the fourth and final kick is the only one where we need to adjust our standing foot. So in order for these kicks to be effective, we use them at close range and we're going to attack the various aspects of the knee. The fourth kick is actually aimed directly at the kneecap and it's using that little bit more force to try to affect the stability from front on. So with the right instep, we're going to go 45 degrees forwards and kick with the instep of the foot. We're then going to pull back and chamber 45 degrees out to the right we're going to strike with the ridge of the foot this way. Back over to the left, we're going to hook across the standing leg, and this is the third backwards kick. Now the fourth one, you're gonna pivot on your left toes as you turn your hips over and then strike through with the ridge of the foot. So I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the eight kicking methods of the Bagua system. We will be looking into the circle walk in a little bit more depth and also breaking down the other components that make it such a great training tool for the martial arts. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.